Coffee Chat Day 50 sit, uh, 50 sit, Coffee Chat Day 57, sit down, grab yourself a coffee, and enjoy the vibe. Yeah, so, I don't know what that intro was about, but, you know, we, <laughs> I am a bit tired today, I've been, well, I took like a little nap after I had breakfast, and I got, I want to say around three hours of sleep last night, so, you know, like, just ignore all that, and ignore how fucked the hair is. I went for a run earlier today, and I just haven't taken a shower, because I'm getting, like, the hair highlighted, so, you know, I don't want to shampoo it, just because shampooed hair plus bleach isn't really, like, a good idea. It'll, it'll just burn your scalp, so, yeah, uh, ignore how bad the hair looks. So yeah. There's a cat out my back garden. And because I just wanted to see what would happen, right? I got my cat and I, you know, held her in my arms, brought her out the back. And, you know, the other cat, he just came up. Well, he or she, I don't really, like, I didn't get a good look, right? But, you know, he or she came up to the door and was like, you know, he, he seemed like he was just being friendly, trying to say hi to my cat. And then my cat hissed for the first time, which, you know, if anyone who owns a cat knows that that first hiss is always like, it just always catches you off guard. It's always in the most random moments, too. So, yeah, and my cat was just mad. Like, my cat was just a hater on this other cat. And, you know, they were just sort of hissing at each other. And I was like, all right, here, we're, we're going back in. I don't want to, I don't be, I don't want to be responsible for a cat fight here. So, yeah, and now she's just in the kitchen, just looking out the window and just hating, like, just, like, all the hair on her tail is, like, standing up. Like, she is aggressive right now. She does not like this other cat. <laughs> I'm also actually putting in work to clean up my diet now. Which is pretty insane because, you know, like the past, well, the past two months from April and May, I've just been living off a diet of beer and pizza. And it is like, after a while, that really, that really pay, like, there's a toll to pay for that. And I don't really want to keep eating that sort of stuff just because... Like, honestly, it, like, it becomes less appetizing the more you have of it. So, I'm actually working on cleaning up my diet. I'm eating, like, a lot more meat, like, and more protein in. And, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, I've only done that for one day, but, you know, after I record these videos, I'm going to be going having an egg, chicken, bacon, lettuce wrap. And that is going to be good. I've been weighing out my food so I can get like a more accurate idea of like what my macros are. So, you know, like I, I had this weird feeling yesterday in the gym where I just had that sort of urge to lock in. And now I'm sort of following up on that. And I'm hoping that, you know, by the end of this year, that's going to pay off. Plus, it's always fun to just lock in every now and again. Never really need, like, a good reason to lock in. You just need to have, like, that one thought where it's like, yeah, we're doing good right now, but we could be doing better. And then you just 
you're you just lock in after that. <laughs> so yeah, I got like well, lock in. I I got like three hours of sleep, so that isn't really helping with muscle recovery. <laughs> but you know, like nothing much I can really do about that now. So yeah, I'm just chilling essentially. I'm gonna try and like start getting to sleep early again just because you know, I woke up at half five today. So, you know, going to sleep early tonight probably isn't gonna be a big problem. I was gonna go to sleep earlier last night too, but I was out with my friend, so I couldn't really do that. Like, Early bedtime for me is usually 8 p.m. Just because, like, you know, I'm sort of weird like that. Where most people, I feel, would consider early being, like, 10 p.m. For me, it's like, now nah, I, I want to get up before the sun even rises. I want to be asleep before the sun even sets. Like, yeah. <laughs> the only darkness I will face is when I wake up. But yeah, no, like, if I can get my sleep in check, if I can get, like, my habits in order, if I can get the schedule that was on back together, then, yeah, we're gonna be pretty chill for this summer. And it's not even that, like, I'm too far off my schedule. Like, I still do most of the things that I'm meant to do. It's just that I usually end up doing them at different times than I would normally want to. Like, take for example, meditation, right? Normally I would be doing that like near first thing in the morning. But for the past like month or so, it's sort of been like more delayed than that. It's like I'll wake up and I'll check my phone first before I start like actually doing the good habits that I'm meant to be doing. And it's like... I want to work on fixing that because I don't really like waking up and just the first thing I see being my phone. What do you want? Dots? Want to say hi? You done hating on that other cat now? And now she's going back. <laughs> but yeah, I know. So I want to like, you know, fix up the schedule a bit more. Just make sure that I'm in the proper groove of things. And yeah, we, after that, uh, just a matter of sticking to schedule. And yeah, hopefully good things will come out of that. I gotta get my video schedule back in check too. Like, I have been missing too many uploads for me to be happy with like not even just for like the algorithm to be happy with like I don't really care about the algorithm that much anymore it's like however many views my videos get that's just how many they get so I'm not really trying to play that sort of game it's just for my own personal sake I want to have like all the advice type videos all pre-recorded like month in advance and then like the coffee chats and Bible readings recorded day in advance so then it's like you know I don't really have to stress about anything I can just sort of go with it like I can just sort of be in the groove and yeah I don't know like just in general making things into habits I found like I found is like a very good way to live because if you can just do all the right things without even having to think about it and it's like it just feels effortless that is like a really good place to be not just for like the sake of your own personal progression as a person but also just for the sake of like your own mind really like, there's just a piece that comes with it, you get me?
And I won't lie, I need to get sticky notes too. Just because like, for the past, I want to say, three weeks, I just haven't had sticky notes. So it's like been harder for me to track how many smokes I've been having. I've been using my phone, which is like so much worse because then it's like, I can't stick them up on the wall at the end of the day and just keep them there. I have like I have to check my phone to see how many smokes I've been having and it's just more awkward to like you know track it on the notepad it's like when you have the sticky notes it's just alright you have a smoke you can just take it down and it's fine and like I found that it's a weirdly good conversation starter too because like a lot of people will see you do that and they'll be like what's this about what 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 are you tallying what are you tallying bro and you can just be like oh yeah well i'm trying to take care of my health you know like all that sort of stuff oh i went to church today actually uh i was gonna go in for a confession just because you know, I want to actually confess my sins and, like, receive forgiveness through that sacrament. But, you know, like, I couldn't find my, like, the confessional booth in my church. So I was just there, like, I accidentally walked into, like, the rosary room. And I was just like, alright, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> I actually need to get a rosary, too. I don't have one. And I want to actually get one just so I can learn how to do that. And, you know, like all that sort of stuff, right? Like, lock in on Christianity, too. Not just, like, locking in on, like, all the gym stuff and, like, the YouTube stuff. But also just locking in on, like, my general faith and, like... You know, just the way that I live, essentially. So yeah, uh, coffee's done. So that's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching, and keep running when no one else is.